Zoo we mama, how's it going everybody? I'm here today to show off my new favorite deck. It is a Grandmaster Darkhawk list that is great for just putting a bunch of rocks into your opponent's deck or even using Shang-Chi on two lanes to just kill their big stuff wherever they play it. It's crazy. It just destroys people like this clip here and it's so fun. So I'm going to go over the details of the deck, some possible card replacements, how to pilot it properly, and then we'll get into some nice gameplay clips. So stick around if you want to learn more about this very fun and very competitive Grandmaster deck. So here's the deck that I've been using to just destroy people in rank mode and conquest, and it's the best home that I've found for Grandmaster so far. I took a pretty traditional Darkhawk package, I slotted in Grandmaster, and I also have Mobius in here. I think Mobius is very good in the current meta. We're still using Miss Marvel even after her nerf, and then we just have the classic Darkhawk package with Zabu, Rockslide, Darkhawk, and Korg. So just to quickly go over the cards, Korg, puts a rock in your opponent's deck and can be a target for Grandmaster, okay? You don't have to have a huge target for Grandmaster. You can use him to just put another rock in your opponent's deck. Got Grandmaster. Again, we've got Korg in here. That's a good target. Rock Slide is an amazing target. Shang-Chi as well, and sometimes Iron Lad if he hit a nice on reveal. We've got Zabu in here. He's a huge enabler. You almost always want Zabu right on turn two. Jeff, because he's Jeff. He's awesome, he's so flexible and great. I put him in almost every deck. We do have Ravana in here because we have a few cards with zero power, so she will give us a nice discount on Darkhawk, Mystique, and Grandmaster. Next up, we've got Mystique, because we got Darkhawk and Miss Marvel. If Mystique can copy one of those, she can generate huge value. Then we've got Mobius. I think he's really good. I think Mobius is extremely underplayed right now. A ton of people are playing Zabu decks like this one. They're playing decks with Ravana. You're seeing a lot of Sarah come back. And we've still got Loki floating around. So Mobius is an absolutely killer tech card right now. And I really like him in this list. Then we've got Rock Slide. If you're playing Darkhawk, you need to also be playing Rock Slide. And this is a great target for Grandmaster to hit. It puts four rocks in your opponent's deck with a Rock Slide and Grandmaster. And that is going to annoy your opponent and power up your Darkhawk significantly. Then we've got the Powerhouse. We want Darkhawk often to save him for turn six so he doesn't get hit with Enchantress or Shang-Chi. And he can just get really huge in this deck with all of those rocks. Shang-Chi, great tech card, counters big stuff, and we can pop it off twice like you saw in the intro. Miss Marvel, again, even though she did get nerfed, you now need at least two cards in the side lanes. That's still just a lot of power. Okay, she's still a 414, and you can even copy her with Mystique. And lastly, we've got Iron Lad. There's basically no bad targets in this deck for Iron Lad, but there's some things that you can hit, and it's just huge value. If you can hit a good target with Iron Lad's six power stat line, it's gonna be nuts. So that is the full deck. I'm gonna give you some possible card replacements if you don't own all these cards, or if you just wanna test out a few different things. I'll tell you how to pilot the deck, and then we'll get into the gameplay clips. So let's get to it. So this deck does have replacement options if needed, so you don't have to think if you don't own all the cards here that you just can't play it. The only cards that you really can't replace here are the ones I put these red cancel pictures over. So Korg, Zabu, Mystique, Rockslide, Darkhawk, and Shang-Chi I consider absolutely necessary for this package. Okay, just the Darkhawk shell, I think these cards are needed, but it's not very expensive. I mean, Zabu and Darkhawk are series four. Everything else is series three or less. So the core shell actually isn't too expensive. And the other cards that are series five and newer, like Grandmaster, Iron Lad, even, you know, Mobius or Ravana, if you don't have them, they can be replaced. Okay, and I would start with these options here and I would start left to right. I know Glazer with Snap Judgment's podcast has put out a Darkhawk list that has uh, Black Widow instead of Jeff. 
and Iron Man instead of Mobius. So I think Black Widow is a great option here. She's another target you can hit with Grand Master if you don't get Rock Slide off. I'm just a big Jeff believer, and I really, really like Mobius in the meta right now. Again, I think he's really, really strong. But a card like Iron Man is also good because he does get the discount from Ravana, and you can also copy his ability with Mystique. Cards like Doctor Doom, just great for power, synergizes well with Miss Marvel. Shadow King, a great tech card and a good target for Grandmaster. And even Ironheart because that is another good target for Grandmaster and Ravana Renslayer. So with this deck, it is very important to know how to play it and where to play your cards. Even if you are used to a traditional Darkhawk package, if you're not used to Grandmaster, he throws a big twist in things because he's very specific on where he can be played and which targets he can hit. Okay, remember you can play Grandmaster on the left or the right locations and he will target an honor reveal there on that same location. So you don't want too many honor reveals on one location because then he becomes a randomized effect. Okay, turn one with this deck, our only option is Korg. So if we get Korg, great. If not, it's okay. Go forward to turn two. Zabu's the best option. Ravana's a great backup. If you don't have either of those, you can look to play Jeff or even just Grandmaster on curve. Hit him on Korg. Move Korg to the middle, put another rock in your opponent's deck, okay? If your draws are bad, you can just Korg into Grandmaster. Turn 3, we can look to play Rock Slide or one of our discounted 4 cost cards if we did get Sabu or Ravana down. When it comes to turn 4, now's a good time to play Grandmaster, unless you're really saving him for some big Shang-Chi play on the last turn. So we can look to play Grandmaster and another 2 cost card, such as Jeff or Ravana. Grandmaster will hit Rock Slide, move Rock Slide to the middle where Rock Slide will trigger again and put two more rocks into your opponent's deck and that is very, very annoying. Come around to turn five, we're gonna start mixing and matching cards here. If you do have Zabu and or Ravana down already, you've got some cheap cards. So you can play something like a two cost card alongside Miss Marvel or even Darkhawk, although I prefer to save Darkhawk for the last turn because he's vulnerable to Shang-Chi and Enchantress, whereas Miss Marvel is only vulnerable to Enchantress and Rogue, but not Shang-Chi. Okay, and important to note here, if you have a strong ongoing card that you're playing on turn 5 like this, whether it's Miss Marvel or Darkhawk, play it second, okay? Just in case you want to Mystique on the last turn, you can play Mystique first on turn 6. In this case, we're not going to go for it, but just a really good habit to always end your sequence with the big power ongoing card in case you decide to follow it up with Mystique. So come around to turn 6 here, we can look to just drop Darkhawk into Mystique. Okay, Mystique coming second on turn 6 if we do want to copy Darkhawk's ability. And that's pretty much how this deck is done. Again, you're going to start mixing and matching, but you don't need any one specific play order. So this deck is very flexible, and Grandmaster in here is very flexible. Again, you can use him to trigger Korg again, Rock Slide again, or even save him for the last turn with Shang-Chi. And that's how this deck works, so let's take a look at the gameplay to see it in action. I'm just gonna uh, Grandmaster right away. I'm gonna Grandmaster right now. Might as well. I want to kind of fill this location fast, but I'm leaving now a. Oh wait, no, that's two two cost cards. We don't want that. We don't want that for Miss Marvel. So let's add a bunch of rocks in their deck, and hope they draw two rocks out of their three cards. It's only game one of silver, so we don't mind snapping. They've not played anything. They might just be seeing what I got. Boom! Take that. So that's the nice thing about Grandmaster. If you want to just play them like on turn three, you can. It's pretty awesome. Okay, Darkhawk, uh, or sorry, Iron Lad could get Darkhawk. Which is obviously pretty good. And we could fill this location with Jeff, have him as a placeholder to then move him later, but it means our Miss Marvel won't move. So this getting Miss Marvel doesn't work, uh, but there's nothing I can do about that. Let's see what they did. There's Shang-Chi, okay. Oh no, they have the Phoenix Force deck, but they're gonna bring back a squirrel. <laughs> they're gonna bring back a squirrel. 
But Phoenix Force, once they play, Phoenix Force will get a free move. So actually, why'd they retreat now? Why did they retreat when I snapped earlier? Quake wouldn't have made a huge difference there, so. G Great Portal, okay, give me something good. Giganto, not very playable. If they hit me with Leech, it's a bit better, but they're not gonna have Leech. Um, let's go ahead and hit Ravana. Didn't actually pull the Phoenix, I know, right? Oh, shoot! Wait, now I don't want to give them rocks, because I'm going to draw their rocks. Oh, this is bad. I have to plan on tempo anyways. We're going to do it anyways. Wait, we can play rock slide in the middle. Because if they want to play him, that hurts their draws. They already got my Jeff. Okay, wait. Is that their? No, that's my Jeff. It's weird, it doesn't say it's created from Weird World. It doesn't have a little note at the bottom that says where the card came from. Right, like this guy says Great Portal. And uh, I can even move it. Ooh, it's Great Portal. Ooh, that's cool. But why is it not telling me Jeff came from my deck? It's 100% my Jeff. They're doing me dirty. Okay, well, let's Iron Lad. And if he does get... something there's not really many great targets but i'll know what they're gonna draw i will know my opponent's next draw with iron lad funny enough they're getting mobius okay so it doesn't matter hulk buster okay oh wait we've got miss marvel mystique i think we're winning this looks pretty good to me And we'll play Mystique at the start of next turn. They don't have an answer for my Mystique. Like, my deck does not help them beat me because I don't care about Shang-Chi. I care a little bit about the Mobius. Okay, that feels bad. <laughs> I, care, I care a little bit. I care a little bit. Okay, so we could just Multiman. I guess we lay down Carnage and Iron Fist, and we just win on power. They should retreat this. I don't see them not retreating here. It's got a cool background, actually. Crunch just has great variants overall. Okay, let's see what they do. Do they also do Miss Marvel? Uh, it's a Miss Marvel animations going away and coming back are so annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please stop with the arms. Stretchy arms. Heimdall! That did nothing, but okay, I love it. I love to see the Heimdall. So we know they have Heimdall. All right, this deck's working out well. The uh, Ravana didn't really matter because they played Mobius, but it actually would have. So I like the, uh, the Ravana suggestion, GR. Okay, I'm thinking my opponent can't use this too much, but oh, if they start off strong, they can. They add a copy of their next card. If they play a one cost card, yeah, I'm not dumb. I'm out of here. They're gonna kill their guy for free, and they're gonna fill up their app. No, I'm I'm not sticking around. I don't think so. We saw one more card in their deck, though. We did see Nico. They've basically seen every card in my deck already. Oh, Jotunheim's probably not great for them. It limits uh, where they can play. Destroyed cards revive. That's probably good for them. Because they could have Phoenix Force, make a copy of the Phoenix Force, kill it with Carnage if they like needed to, if their play was bad, and that Phoenix Force comes back. Okay, they're going to give their next card two power per Nico Minoru. Oh, baby. How many cards do they have in their deck? They have six. They have six cards in their deck. There is not a chance they beat this Darkhawk. I think they have a good play, although they didn't get Multiple Man on turn two, so that's not a great play. But there's no chance they beat Darkhawk here. Okay, we took it. So you gotta know when a location just for you, you just snap, get a quick retreat. So we got a free retreat, they're down to three cubes. 
Dream Dimension, if we get Mobius, Mobius is always at the bottom of our deck when locations like this pop up, but if we get him, it's so good. Ooh, Nidavellir, that helps us with priority. We'll start off with Zabu, we'll slap down Miss Marvel, and we'll see how it goes. Warrior Falls is probably not great for them. I mean, they can kill him for free. But it's going to move a card to the right. So they can only kill multiple men for free. That's it. Hulkbuster. They're going to push it to the right. Okay, this is a snap. I'm going to snap here. We did get Mobius, but I don't have time to play him. Um, although they could bring it back with Phoenix Force, but they have to Phoenix Force on turn five. And they can't play, no, they could play it on turn five. I just, I don't know when they're gonna bring these cards back. Let's go ahead and wait though. <clears throat> Shuri, okay, they're gonna Phoenix Force. I think, Wait, did they plan for me to kill their Nico and then they Shuri right now so it doubles up the Phoenix Force? Because if so, that'd be pretty nasty. But they're behind a turn. If they have Nimrod or something, it doesn't work. We could double Rock Slide. We can also double Shang-Chi. We're going to get it. Unfortunately, I should have actually played Mystique behind here. Maybe that was a misplay. Not getting Mystique. Oh, wait, no, that's two three-cost cards there. We don't want that. Okay, we only have ongoing cards on the left. But yeah, it might have been a mystique, uh, mistake, sorry. Playing Mobius instead of Mystique? I don't know. Okay, it is multiple man, but he's not dying. He's just moving. Uh, they do have priority. So it's six plus two is eight plus seven is 15. I think we have to hit, uh, I think we might have to hit Darkhawk. Let's see what they do. Venom, okay, yeah. So Shang-Chi there wouldn't have mattered. Shang-Chi on the left also didn't matter, so we just went. Perfect. We knew that it wasn't the place to play GM. So we didn't play him. We didn't get too greedy. All right, we took a fat dub already. This deck, uh, very nice so far. We were against a, a move power-up deck, and those are very uh, weak to, very sensitive to locations, but still nice win, good stuff. Um, I just have it in the past, but having Mystique and Grandmaster, there's so many things we can copy. Double value. Tarnax. Oh, interesting. We Actually, that's good for Grandmaster, because we play his ability and then we'll move, but... Oh, come on. Crown City? What are these locations? We can always score that at the end. We don't have to score it right now. I wish I had Korg or something, though. Okay, it's a high Evo. Oh, they're going to leech me? Oh, what are these locations? What? I think I'm going to get leeched. Magic? Okay, they got rid of it. Okay. So they could go for leech turn five because they did get rid of magic. We are going to just get a bunch of Miss Marvels down. High Evo doesn't run Enchantress, right? Sometimes they run Rogue. I don't think they run Enchantress. But they're obviously going to get Crown City's bonus. Cosmo. Oh, no. I don't get the honor reveal. That's dirty. That's not nice. Oh, we got priority though, that's cool. 
We'll do a little bit of this. We'll do a little bit of this. Although this is an honor reveal, we don't want it to mess with Grandmaster, so let's play it middle. Uh, we may lose... They may leech us. If they do leech us, Mobius would feel really good, but I, I have no way to play Mobius here. Let's play it over here, sure. I think we get leeched. No, we did not get leeched, okay. This is an interesting game, why? How you, oh wait, no, we did get leech and they played two of the, uh, the Jins. Do they have two? I thought they only have one. Oh, but they had extra, so I think we did get leech still. Oh no, it's She-Hulk, okay. So it's okay, we want to stay behind on the board, I think. Stay behind in a... Priority. <clears throat> they could go for an infinite or something. We're gonna have a lot of energy next turn. Well, actually, we'll just have seven. I don't want to play my last gin, I've decided. <clears throat> We're going to play Iron Lad for tempo. Just for his power. And then last turn we got shenanigans with Shang-Chi. If they did skip for Infinite, we're very happy. They skipped for Infinite. Um, so they can play Infinite, but they cannot play like Scar as well. They can only play Infinite. So we're pulling it off again. This is nasty. We are going to lose the Miss Marvel buff over here. Actually, wait a minute. If we lose... The, oh, no, because we're going to win the middle. Uh, we win the middle location, so we get an extra plus four, and they lose a plus four. So they're, we're flipping it by eight. So right now they're getting extra plus four. We're going to take that away and get our own. So we're going to double shang chi -um. Let's go. Let's go! The left Shang-Chi didn't even matter either. And we actually lost our double Miss Marvel, which actually is pretty bad. But I think we're okay because we're popping the middle. We had everything covered, yes! There is no escaping that Shang-Chi. I guess we knew they could only play Infinite and they had to play mid, so we could have just uh, done Darkhawk left, but it didn't matter. If they were only slamming down Infinite, then it was a win. They're out of here! What? What? They're out of here? They don't like that? They said, this guy is double Shang-Chi. I'm out. <laughs> this deck is slapping. Try out the different cards, try out on reveal decks. They just have a bunch of honor real cards in Odin, trial ongoing decks, they just have ongoings in Spectrum. And you'll unlock these cards pretty early. And uh yeah. Ooh, this is good. We can fill. They can also fill by their snap. My hands kinda doo doo. Uh we have Mobius down though, it's kinda nice. Well, you don't necessarily need to just catch up. Um, you don't need every card in Snap, right? There's only 12 cards in a deck. If you never catch up, I currently don't have all the cards. I'm missing like two or three. But if you never catch up, it's fine. I don't want to stick around here. I should probably retreat, but I didn't, so. At least I didn't permanently fill because I have Jeff. Oh, they used their Grandmaster already. Very cool. They're also playing Grandmaster Rockhawk. Uh, Darkhawk. Rockhawk. So far, they have an identical deck, just from what we've seen. Okay, we'll see what Iron Lad gets. If I draw a four cost card, I cannot play that plus Darkhawk. I have to play Darkhawk now. Rockhawk. Yeah, we're playing Rockhawk. Hmm. 
But yeah, I think uh, Snap actually has a good new player experience in terms of like the early games, again, where they put you against bots and stuff. And once you get into it, into Pool 3, it, it kind of feels hard there at first, but you don't get like stuck stuck as much. Oh, I copied a rock. That's great. All right, well, we lost the game because we're just trying to rock. So we're against a Ronin Grandmaster Rock Hawk list. Uh, but they got a good start. And we got kind of wrecked. Even though we did have Mobius down, we drew some rocks. Can go for that. I will, but I'm not drawing Korg turn one. Give me Korg. Where's my Korg? Shameful. Shameful. Sinister London. Wow. Do we ever double Zabu? I wish we had Mobius, but maybe double Zabu's fine. Uh, no, I don't think I need to double Zabu. I think it's a bit greedy. I think it takes up too much board space. Master Mold, oh no. We got molded. <laughs> we got molded. Oh, it's dimension I actually don't even care about playing there we could go for an early iron lad too but let's start off with the rock slide you don't care about the meta you just like fun looking cards Howard the ducks Howard the duck is cool yeah yeah you don't need to even when you get to like pull three of the high ranks you can still play off meta stuff you'll do all the time GR says you have four months since you started playing already have like 60% of the meta important cards. Yeah, and that's true also. You won't have all the cards, but when you learn about the spotlight cash system, which you don't need to worry about right now, uh, you'll be able to kind of wait and choose some of the cards you want. Like you'll basically be able to make the decks that you want to play. Uh, Iron Lad could give us Grandmaster or something. And we don't really want priority. Okay. Uh, it's Master Mold. I don't mind that. Okay, well, we're not going to draw a card, basically. We could have done Jeff Middle. We could have done Jeff Middle. Our opponent might skip for priority purpose, but I don't know. They did not. Okay. So we have to hope to draw uh, Darkhawk, basically. If they have a Lyoth, they're saying they obviously beat us, but what are you going to do? Because we could have purposely filled a specific location. Oh, Mystique there's really greedy. Okay, which is gonna copy left, but we need the Shang-Chi to go right. It cannot go left. It's not winning if we go left. Okay. Okay, win the middle, go right. Or give me Darkhawk. Darkhawk is also fine. Go right. Oh no. Okay, wait a minute. Yes, oh baby, there we go. That's how we do it. We slow roll them. Victory. We slow roll them to get that Shang-Chi off. Yes, we save that Iron Lad. So the very the nice thing about Iron Lad is you, you can play him on turn four, but then he plays your turn five card. You're gonna see that card anyways. If you play him on turn six, he's hitting a card you did not draw. He's hitting a card you would not have seen, and I love that. Heart is raving. I know the Shang-Chi went left. And I'm like, oh god. The only winning play there after Shang-Chi went left and lost that 50 50 was Iron Lad hitting like the 1 in 4 or 1 in 5. Yeah, I agree with you, Jack Money. I'm not. Um, I didn't like grow up on comics or anything, but I used to play a lot of Hearthstone and I played some Runeterra. So I found the game because I saw a Runeterra player, Mega Mogwai, uh, playing Snap. And then I'm like, oh shoot, it's by Ben Brode? Like, what?
Um, if we get Grandmaster, we won't play him right away, so we'll play Korg here first. Okay. Rip Rune Terror, I know, I just heard the news. I haven't played in a while, but, you know, Mega Mogwai's still playing, there's a lot of people still playing, so. Um, yeah, the game, it's never really made much money, it's more just been like a kind of side project or to get people involved, but still feels bad, man. I'm gonna rock slide here in the case I ever try to double Shang-Chi. I want Shang-Chi on the right and not in the same location as Rock Slide, so I'll leave him in the non-armored location. Okay, we uh, both hit it. Altar of Death. They can't get there. I can technically get to Altar of Death with Jeff. I need to like get Jeff now. Unless they mystique their armor. No, they can't do that already. They already missed that chance. I need to get over there now. They could have Dr. Doom. They're snapping on me. It is round four, I think. Wait, I lost one. They, no, it's only round three. We'll see what they have. I could have played stuff there. I forgot I can play stuff to get energy, but... Oh, I got a rock, of course. Okay. Pretty lame. Okay, we're going to play this, though, to get energy. And then we can Mystique him. And we can even Grandmaster the Rock Slide if we wanted on the last turn. Hopefully we have priority. Hopefully they don't... I'm thinking we will priority. Because they're going for extra energy. No! No, 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 but not my mystique. We lost our... Oh shoot, wait, they filled! They accidentally filled! Why is our Jeff here? Our Jeff is too late, but they filled. Uh, I still can't win though, even though they filled. That spider hand was clutch. If mystique was just pushed over to the left, I would have been in the clear. Yeah, I just lose this. It's okay, though. Unfortunately, we didn't have Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi here would have hit hard. He would have killed that. He would have killed that? A Shang-Chi here would have cleaned house. They would have had five power if I had Shang-Chi. That's unfortunate. It's okay, though. We're, we're still at uh, six cubes, but it feels bad. But last game, we got lucky. Look, last game, we got really lucky with that clutch uh, Iron Lad. This game, we did not get it. It's okay. It's evenly, it evens out. It's perfectly balanced. Let's start off with strong. Let's start off with Korg turn one. I don't know if I've ever had Korg turn one here, if I'm being honest. We have seen almost everything in their deck except for one card. I really like their deck, by the way. They hit our Zabu. Uh, we cry now. That spider hand's going hard, but if we draw Mobius, the pig is free. The pig is free if we get Mobius. Um, does a snap here matter? A snap here actually doesn't matter because it is game four, and on game five, they become two cubes anyways. So a snap doesn't matter. Yeah. But if they had a scroll, they would have killed me, right? It works both ways. <laughs> They're going to super scroll me on the left. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, we're gonna power up our Jeffy boy for sure. We're gonna get a free pig. It's gonna get so much power from your island. They're gonna regret hitting me with spider ham. Go ahead, Grandmaster it. You add one card to my hand? Come on. They played a 2-0 to add a single sentinel to my hand. Is that worth it? I don't know. Oh no, he moved. I cried. I do cry. But we're at least uh, picking up power. It's still worth it to play Mobius last turn. Ravana doesn't do anything, so she's just there for stats. We need to draw good stuff. We need our Shang-Chi. We do not need a Rock Slide. Um, 
We can't even hit him with Grandmaster because he's going to move by himself already. So we'll hit him here and we'll play another Sentinel. If we draw Miss Marvel, we lose that, but it's okay. And we still have two more games after this, even if we lose this. So our opponent got to a pretty good start. Our start was kind of whatever. Uh, but we're picking up on the right. And Iron Lad? Oh, I thought they'd... I thought they'd go with Iron Lad. I was going to say we could take that out. It could get a rock. Okay, we did get Miss Marvel, unfortunately. So we're going to give up on Miss Marvel. We did not get Mystique either. I mean, they're hurting our draws, though. Right? So part of this is just our opponent hurting our draws. Uh, we hurt Ronin a bit just by playing cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good thing I filled. If I didn't fill, that would have been really embarrassing. Because I've lost to Asteroid M like that before. They just retreated? Wait. Victory. What? Why would you not play it out? Why would you not just see the end? Did they... Did you pull up my stream and see you were losing? What? Why would you not... It's, it's turn six. You've already snapped. Why would you just leave? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're able to give this deck a try. And if so, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I hoped my guide helped you learn it a bit better. So remember to subscribe if you like this kind of content so I can give more of it to you. And until then, stay positive. I'll see you next time.